What's up you guys? Today is gonna be a good day because we are flying 7,000 miles across the world for our baby girl to meet her grandparents for the first time. And the best part is they have no idea that we are coming and she's nearly six months old and they've not met her yet. Which is crazy, right? And there's also a twist to the story because basically we told my dad that we were coming home next week. So he thinks that he's in on the surprise to surprise my mom. Yep. Little does he know we're actually flying today. My brothers are picking us up, taking us back to their home and we're gonna show you guys their reaction. We can't wait to see how they react. It's gonna be awesome. Mm -hmm. So we've got a lot of boxes. One, I think we've two, got 13. One, two, three, three four, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Plus hand carry plus Kira. <laughs> <laughs> and Kira's hand carry. We are now heading to the gate. Super, super excited still to wait and see the reaction. My brothers are gonna be picking us up, so they obviously know and they're expecting to see us, but still their reaction to see Kira for the first time is gonna be Pretty cool, yep. but yeah, it's all about when we get home. So super, super excited to get home and see their reactions. And also, we are we come bearing gifts, so chocolates and noodles. Um, so there's a an extra reason to be a little bit happy. All the local food. So my brother really likes the local noodles from here. So we bought them from the hawker stall, and then we frozen them and we take them back frozen. So yeah, that too. Uh All right, so we just got on the plane. We are already taxiing down the runway. We haven't taken off just yet, but yeah, we're already on the plane. Kira has been a dream. She is sleeping. We're hoping that after we take off, she's gonna continue to sleep for a few hours because last night we only got like two or three hours sleep. So we are knackered. We have stabilized up in the air and to get Kira to equalize up her ears, we got her to suck on her tummy and she's actually pretty happy in there. Hi Kay! <laughs> so she's chilling while Brett is having his breakfast. We decided to take turns having breakfast just in case she kicked off. Um, but she's doing pretty well so we're hoping that she's still gonna stay that way. We're currently around three hours into the flight. We've still got about 10 hours left to go. It's a really, really long way. 7,000 miles just about so yeah. But Kira's doing really well. She's chilling on the bed just here. We don't usually fly business class, but because we had baby Kay and she's like five months old, and because, you know, the amount of space that you get in here compared to in uh, economy, we decided to go for it. Thankfully, we had enough air miles to upgrade, so happy days, but look at her chilling there. Living her best life. You ready to see grandma and grandpa? You ready to see Uncle Max and Uncle Zach, who are gonna pick us up at the airport? And then Grandma and Grandpa and Auntie Ferdy when we get home. Yeah? Kira's looking forward to it. Say see you soon, guys. You don't know I'm coming yet, but I'm on my way. Oh? Huh? We're on our way. If this is not living the good life, I'm not sure what is. Right, Kira? <laughs> Look at the size of your bed. Huh? And what are you doing? You're watching TV. You're watching Wonder Woman? Wow. Wow, look at that. So comfy. Now I'm having my lunch and we just texted Brett's family to say happy Sunday from Kira to throw them off completely and to make them continue believing that we're still in Singapore because normally you wouldn't be able to send no one. <laughs> flung a whole lot of satay sauce <laughs> on my hand. But anyway, so normally you wouldn't be able to send a WhatsApp. Um, on the plane, but because we're in business class, they give you a free hundred megabytes to use, so it's yep. really, really useful. Which is pretty cool. And yeah. because, like, basically, we wouldn't be able to send them this message if we weren't in Singapore, so no, they're definitely going to think that we're in Singapore right now. Yep. I don't think that they know that we're heading over there anyway, but just in case. Just in case. Just in case. Right, Kira? Oh, hello. Hello. Are you ready to meet Grandma and Grandpa? And your uncle and aunties? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So as I mentioned earlier, my dad was originally gonna pick us up and my mom knew nothing about it. Now we're coming home one week earlier, so there was a bit of a hiccup in that I told my dad where our keys were, which were in our safe back home, 
he tried to go into the safe to get our keys, but my brother had already picked it up because he's now actually picking us up. So I've been ignoring my dad for a few days because he's been asking me where our key is and I've just been blanking him. And hopefully that, you know, hoping that he wouldn't figure that anything's off until we get home. So yeah, I don't think he will to be fair. I don't speak to him every day. So I reckon going two or three days without replying is probably good. I'll probably get away with that, right? I think so. We'll see. I just seen a message from my dad. He just messaged me one more time asking if I have any idea where the keys are because I've been ignoring him. So he's just messaged me one more time. I'm gonna continue to ignore him until we get back because we'll probably be back in about six or seven hours now. So I'm just gonna keep ignoring him and see how it goes. All right, the pilot just made an announcement that we're about to land. So this is what the seat looks like when it's all folded up. Evie, as you can see, still folding hers up or well, she's getting someone to come and do it for her. Hey, and Kira's sleeping. I think I know how to do it. Hey Kira. Oh, you woke up. You woke up. Are you ready to land in England? Oh my God. First yeah. time going to England for Kira, hey? What do you think, hey? You got a rash on your cheeks, huh? We need to sort that out when we get back. Uh, now you know. I have learned. We are 12 hours into our 13 hour plane journey with baby K, but once we land, I think we got to estimate another one or two hours in the airport. Hopefully not quite so long because I think they will let us through the special assistance lane, hopefully anyway. That's another thing that we are a bit nervous about because yeah. we saw in the news recently that people were queuing for seven hours in Heathrow and even people with babies were having to queue up for seven hours and feed their babies in this queue. So. We've seen the bad news, we've seen the headlines, fingers crossed that it's yeah. not going to be like that today and we get to fast track. And today's a Sunday as well, so I'm not really sure how many people are going to be returning to the UK from the That's travels. true, that's very true. Yeah, because the UK recently opened up again for like leisure travels. Mm, yeah, one week countries. ago, actually exactly one week ago. So that's like people yeah. who have gone away for the first week are now going to be coming back. Yeah, it's like peak time for returning after like a one week holiday in Portugal. Well, we're about to find out. We've packed all our stuff up and in just 30 minutes, we're going to be touching down in England. My brothers are going to be picking this up. Ah, I can't wait. Right? Yes. Um, <laughs> Come on, be share so... my enthusiasm, Eves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to be so shocked when we arrive because they're really not going to be expecting us. Um... Also, I can't wait to film my brother's reactions to the amount of stuff that we have. So oh my God, we'll yes. make sure that we get that on camera. We share it with you because we checked in so much stuff. And yeah, I don't know how we're going to fit it in the cars yeah, yet, so we'll figure that out. The reaction will definitely be funny. We survived two Punami explosions, we cleaned her up. So Kira found it really, really hard descending um, because of the pressure in her ears, I think, and she was just crying like mad and we couldn't even get her pacifier in. Um, we finally managed to get her to calm down and she's finally sucking on her pacifier. We still have like four minutes to go, so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's not Daddy. over yet. Aww. Are you ready to meet Grandma and Grandpa? About In about one hour, you'll meet Max and Zach. In one hour, you'll meet your uncles for the first time. <laughs> and in about four hours, you'll meet the whole family, Kira. Yes. And they don't even know it yet. Kira, we landed. We landed. Hey, hello, London. Can you see London out of the window? You did really well there, Kira. Good job. Okay, it's time to get off the plane. Our stroller actually fits down the aisle, so it's pretty handy. Top tip, if you're interested in it or looking to buy a stroller, just get the smallest one you can. That's the only thing that matters. Yeah, Smallest true. and lightest. Don't worry about what a fancy gimmick. We are back in London after eight months. It's just been... landed, just got off the plane. <laughs> eight months is a crazy amount of time to be away. It was a crazy amount of time. Kira's six months old still hasn't met my family. <laughs> and one of the pros of traveling with a baby is we get a little bit of assistance at the airport. Oh my God, I'm too slow. I am already out of breath and I can hardly see the man that we're meant to be following. Fingers crossed, immigration queue is gonna be, you know, manageable. Sure. But my brothers are like, I think they're gonna be another 45 minutes. So even if we skip through immigration really fast, we're probably still gonna have to wait for them. But hey, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter, does it, Kira? I think that was honestly the fastest that we got through immigration. That was insane. That was insane. Hey Zach. Yep. Whereabouts are you? 
Oh, you still in Egham? Okay. We just got all our bags. We're literally heading out now. It was so fast. I couldn't believe how fast it was. Terminal two. All right, of course, see you in a bit. Are you sure we've got all our boxes? We've got 13, I counted every single one. We've got four of these bags and nine boxes. So we've got everything. Okay. Everything Kira. Kira has been really good playing with Sophie her drama. So basically we're gonna be staying with my parents for a couple of months from when we land to when we get back now. Their reaction to all of this shit that we've got is gonna be hilarious because I don't think they quite expect us to have this many boxes. <laughs> we're sorry in advance. <laughs> yeah. I promise we are sorry. So we're waiting in the terminal and then come down to help us carry one of the, some of the stuff. Is that all right? All right, sweet. See you in a bit. They nearly here? Yep. You're like five minutes away? Ten maybe. Okay. Kira, you've been really, really good. You've been so good, my darling. Are you cold yet? I've got a hat ready for you and a blanket. Oh, hi there. Hello. Here he is. Kira, say hi to Uncle Zach. Hey! Hello. Good, hello! Say hi! Hello! Where's Max? He's just down with, waiting with the Just yeah. about fitting the lift with all our shit. <laughs> How you get it? Bloody getting in the way. <laughs> Have you done a, a video the whole way back? Yeah. Oh, oh wow, Kira. What do you think about the temperature, Kira? Fantastic. <laughs> Oh wow, Kira! Cold! <laughs> Hi, Kira! 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 The people off the airline. So much stuff. To me. <laughs> so my brothers just told me that my parents think that they're going over tonight for Chinese. So they're expecting them to go over, but obviously they're not expecting us. Hey, Kira, how are you doing? Nice hat. Nice hat. <laughs> We are halfway through the journey. There's Brett's brothers in front, as you can see in their van, and it is raining. I'm excited to see your parents' reactions. I'm excited for them to see Kira. Yeah, I can't wait. Oh. Like I've been FaceTiming my mom so often, my, my dad as well. You know, and every time I speak to them, they say that they want to see her, and they say they can't wait to see her, and they're so sad that they've had to wait this long. Yeah. So yeah, I'm just totally excited to see how they react. Yay. And Kira would be excited if she weren't like really sound asleep just over here. Yeah. And my um, little sister Fern as well, she's an absolute darling and I think she's gonna, I think she's probably gonna shed a tear or two when oh, she sees her. Oh, happy we'll tears, happy tears. Um, I think what's really funny actually is that your dad just texted you, right? To say, because um, he was asking for the car key again. Yeah, so he texted once on the plane to remind me about it and then he actually texted me again um, saying <clears throat> that, trying to tell me, like, don't you remember that mom's not meant to know? because I told him that I'll call him to look in the safe for the car key. So yeah, it's hilarious. He was like, remember, mom doesn't know what we're doing. Yeah, my brothers also just said that <laughs> your parents, like mom and dad, have no clue. Like, <laughs> Not a Scooby. I think they, those were their words, right? <laughs> Not, Not a, a Scooby. Scooby. <laughs> I love it. Well, a couple of days and so we're going to have to stop there and issue. Uh, well, I'll just follow you. Yeah, yeah. All right then. See you We went the wrong way? Yeah. I thought we were getting the wrong way. So we're going via a place called Bridge North, which is like 45 minutes away from my parents' place. Um, they have a nice Chinese restaurant there apparently, so we're gonna go there, pick up some Chinese, and then head over. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Jesus. <laughs> Brett, your driving leaves much to be desired. Your driving leaves much, leaves much to be desired. I don't think Zach would appreciate it when it's the back of his van. No, I don't think he would, to be fair. Check out the tunes that Evie's got going on here. Leona Lewis, hey? A little bit of Leona? Yee! Hey. <laughs> you! Oh god. I recognize the song, I just don't know the name of it. Like Imagine Not Dragons is a, is, is a band. Imagine Dragons? Yeah. I don't know, never heard of them. Oh, god. 
All right, so we just stopped to get some fuel. And basically my brothers told me that they're both, both their girlfriends are gonna also be coming over tonight. So everyone's gonna be there. But currently their girlfriends are at Zach's house. We're gonna drive past Zach's house and pick them up or they're gonna drive as well. So there'll be all three of us driving together in like a massive convoy. They're gonna go into the house first and then like a few meters or a few minutes after them, I guess, we'll follow. And that's when the real shock's gonna, you know, gonna happen. <laughs> Can't wait to see it. It's gonna be so bizarre. Yeah, it's gonna be bizarre. It's like, what? We're just heading now as well to get some Chinese. So we've ordered what? What did we order? Some uh, fried rice. Fried rice and, and beef. beef. Some kind of beef. Yums. We're currently just around the corner actually right now. So we picked up the girls, we're now here. They've gone in with the Chinese food. They're gonna settle in just for a bit. And then after Kira's finished feeding, we're gonna head in ourselves. So she's just having some milk as you can see there. Give us a few minutes and we'll be heading in. To be fair, Kira hasn't even met the girlfriends yet. She hasn't even met Laura or Abby or her cousin Libby. So a lot of new faces in there for her to go and see. She's just so asleep though, because it's like, what, 3 a.m.? Yeah, 3 a.m. in Singapore. Singapore. Let's go. You're being too noisy, Kira. You're being too noisy. Okay, hold on, wait. We are literally standing outside the front door here now. We're heading in. Hello. Oh, <laughs> my <goodness>. Hello, Libby. <laughs> Hello. Hi. 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 <laughs> what? Say hello. Yeah. Yeah. So the sound is really like, you could just come by a car, she's like, you can sit a car seat in it. I'm trying to get you to try and get it. What have you done to her, mum? So it couldn't be here. No. No. So we want to dish it out until he's coming. I know, but we can't. So I don't know if we and that's it from us today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. We had such great fun making this video. It was such a long journey, but it was still really fun anyway. If you like this video, remember to give it a like and hit subscribe and follow the Clay Fam. Yep, and a special thanks to my brothers, Max and Zach, for picking us up from the airport. It was a long trip for them, an even longer one for us. Um, but yeah, we're so glad that we're home now and that baby Kay gets to meet my whole family. Yeah. Thanks, guys. See you next time. See you next time.